Hi guys and welcome back to a new edition of the Home SEO series. Today, as the title says of the stream, we're going to talk about Pinterest and Rich Beans. And just to give you a little bit of an overview and a context, uh, the Home SEO series that we're doing on the Get Grow channel here uh, is the live events and the videos that we present to you each week in which we present different SEO tasks you can tackle on your own. And today I'm going to try to make a really, really short tutorial um, to the point about how you can validate rich pins and basically get the website um, connected to your profile. If you have a business profile, basically uh, for Pinterest, or if you if your site is for your personal brand and you have your Pinterest account and you would like to connect those just to show you a very easy, fast way of doing that. Especially if you have a WordPress site, this would um, this will work really easy and fast. So let's get to down to the short tutorial that I want to present to you. So basically, you have here uh, the dashboard, um, and if you want to do this again, I'm going to show you how to do this with Squarely, but you can do this as well. You're going to see the indications on how to do this for your site, either if it's WordPress or not. Um, even if you don't uh, have Squirrely installed, it's going to be much easier with Squirrely than with other options, but you're going to see them throughout the tutorial as well. Okay, so we're going to go to SEO settings here and just scroll down to the social media accounts. And then if we go down or from here, we have the tracking tools. So. The reason why uh, Pinterest website validator code is in the tracking tools panel is because it will help you basically to track information about your uh, site if you have the Pinterest for business, basically. So let's see what kind of information we need for here. So here you need to put the code for like basically each one of these here. Uh, either if it's Google Analytics, the Google Analytics ID, uh, so you can track data in your site, the Facebook ID or the Facebook pixel ID. So for each one of them, we just need the code. And as you can see here, um, next to it, like underneath, you can see an example of how that where you're going to find that information. So here is like the meta name equal to domain verify content. And we basically need the number that's going to be here for your own account. And I'm going to show you a little bit how uh, you can do this uh, with my own account. So this is my personal account. I've just opened Pinterest. I've um, entered into the account and then I'm just going to go click here and go to my settings. Okay. And then go scroll down here and there's going to be this part that I'm interested in. So basically website. Okay. And here I'm just going to put the URL of the site that I'm interested in. So chief content. I'm just going to put it here. Yeah. And then click confirm. Now here's going to be the pop up. Okay. And here's like the information that Pinterest gives uh, are not specifically tailored to WordPress sites, of course, because you could have any kind of a site and still want to connect it to your own profile. So here's the part that I was saying that if you follow these instructions, uh, they're going to be useful for your site, regardless if it's a WordPress one or not. So confirm your website. This adds your profile picture to any pins that come from your site. So this is great if you uh, have a business account or you, if you convert to a business account. It's also great for that reason because then you'll have access to website analytics uh, concern, uh, concerning your pin. So if you're sharing your um, content on Pinterest or if you have an entire social media strategy that focuses on Pinterest, this is a good idea to do to convert to business accounts so you have access to this analytics. Okay, so basically here it says that we should copy and paste this tag to the head section of your website's index HTML file. So if you know how to do that for your site, you can do that. In our case, because we uh, are using Squirrelly, it's going to be much easier. We just need to take this code and insert it into the panel. And again, if you don't have a WordPress site or you would like to do this differently, um, you can download this file and upload it to your site and it's going to help you to do this. But in the case of Squirrelly, it's just as easy as copy and paste. We already have it here. We're going to save the SEO settings 
and that's done. So basically, our um, site is connected to uh, my profile for Pinterest. Okay, that's perfect. And then the next part that we're gonna do is gonna be about rich pins. So validating those, we have like a link here. So it says validate pin, rich pins. So what does that mean just to um, show you that? So like finish. Busy time, sometimes it takes up to an hour. So that's important to know. That's not gonna be immediate. Neither are rich pins gonna be immediately uh, available and accessible for your site, but um, it's just useful to have them. Okay, so um, what am I talking about? Rich pins. I just want to show you a little bit on how they look. Here I'm searching for something to see. Um, I have a picture saved, for example, that I've showed someone. I'm, not, I'm using in articles usually, but I was searching for something different. So if you share an article on, um, on Pinterest, you're going to see some information differently. So basically, here, you know, yeah, for example, this one is a rich pin, and it's a rich pin for recipes. I think that this is like the best kind of example that you can get because there are, Pinterest uh, promotes a lot of recipes on it, so they have this um, really great way of taking information, meta uh, metadata, and of showing things in a really nice way for recipes. So basically, this is what you shared on Pinterest, the image from the article. And then because it has a rich pin, we have this description here with more and the make it because it knows it's a recipe. And then it also takes like this information that are ingredients. Now, if your article is, um, it's, it's an article, it's not really a recipe, the, the, the information is going to be different. But again, people are going to see really easily well, what is your site and the description of the article. And then the information here is going to be presented in a better way as a structure. That's why I was searching for something that would be an article and it had rich pins. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, but that's that's basically the idea that the data, the metadata there helps uh, for the way that um, it basically looks on it. Here is from Instagram. So, yeah, it doesn't really look like that. Um, but yeah, I think that you get the general idea. So that the information that you get there, the snip, the description, and then um, specific information, like how much time does the recipe take and um, the ingredients that you need to see them quickly on Pinterest, that's done with basically having the rich bin validation. And that helps a lot because again, it, it connects it to people because they also see the logo uh, of your site um, and they can connect it to that and it helps more on, um, on how they see that information but again it's connected to your their account yeah basically that what we've done already but it doesn't have the rich pin to have the description okay but I'm just gonna show you how we can do that so you have to click here on rich pins it's going to up open the rich pin validator for from Pinterest the one that's for developers and basically here we have to put the URL but not any URL uh, but one from the site that you would like to validate the rich pain for. So in my case, chief content, I'm just going to go here to the site and then open a page that I know that has the metadata already um, created for it. So basically the meta title, the description, um, and again, to know clearly what uh, image I'm sharing in open graph that also helps sometimes. Um, but it's not mandatory to have the open graph. So for example, this article, I'm sure that the metadata is done for it. And then I'm just going to take the URL for it and then click it here and just click validate. And now let's see what information it's going to get from me. So I was right. This has, um, th this is that they're already, um, approved because this was done a few days ago, but again, you can see here like the data they could um, get really easily. So they know for rich pin enables what is the site, the site name and how I would like to show that. So that again is from data, metadata that it's already been established on the site. The, the five icon, it can take it from uh, our site. Yeah, so basically this element here and the one that you can see here in, on the tab as well. 
It can be the logo in your case for your site. And then it says how many pins and repins and comments the ha this already had. If it can take the author information, apparently it cannot. And then the description that it's going to be shown in the rich pin. So consumers are constantly using technology. They open emails in the morning and then the, the image that's in the article. So yeah, so as you can see, the metadata is done here. This is because Squarely automatically does this. But if you'd have a site and you wouldn't have it already because this is already validated before, I'm just going to show you for a different um, site. I hope that uh, that isn't validated already. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that I gave me five. I'm just going to open it. It's a site we have that sometimes we test different um, things to see just how they look there as well. And I'm just going to go there and open the first article that I see. I think that's an article. Yeah. So this is like a draft for something that we're, we've are we published in the last days, in the last month. And we have here just a, a draft with the first ideas. Okay, and we need a bit that for it. Okay, so I've opened it here and that's the URL. Okay. And then I'm just going to validate that. So I know the metadata is done for that one, certainly, because I've worked on it. And again, it says that it's, it's approved here. So, yeah, you can just... Your rich pins are validated. So, just source and to just see this is not from the site. But this is... Oh, this is from the site, yeah. So you see how it looks here. Yeah. That's from there, marketing online, and that it has this. Okay, so those are the pins that involve uh, pages from our site. Again, all the information is there. But that's basically it. And if it, the only information that it could give you is that um, if it's not going to validate it, how much time it's going to take. So basically, it's between a few minutes, like 10 to 20 minutes to an hour, and it can validate them. Or if the, the meta information on the page is missing, so they cannot take the information because it isn't there. But if you're using Squirrely and the page that you are um, applying for to for rich validation has already been optimized with Squirrely, it should already have the meta title, the meta description automatically if you haven't uh, changed those features because the default ones are for um, squarely to take that so base to take that information so basically what it does is for each article that you create is going to put the first paragraph of your article in the description and basically make sure that you have the meta information so as you can see here so metas uh, that's about here adds the required metas okay so these are for the site but also adds the required metas for um, your articles so as long as you have that setting on it uh, should put all the data if you've op optimized that article with squarely on a keyword and that's how you do rich pins basically how you connect your site to your profile that's what we did the first time and as, as you saw it was really easy to do because all you had to do was just to copy the code once you had it you go to pinterest in your settings you find the code and you copy it here and then um, we did the rich pins where basically you just had to put one of the, um, the links there um, and you have to apply for it if you already have the meta information. Again, don't forget not to just put the link of the domain but put a specific page so it can have um, the meta that it can take for that specific page as well. So. Thank you for listening to me today. Hope this tutorial was short and useful for you to establish this. I think that it's usually useful to have this information for anybody uh, that has from a share button to, on Pinterest on their site to people that are doing a full um, marketing social media strategies uh, for it. So in the end here, I'm just... Uh, going to show you the end screen so yeah mm -hmm. yes 
So here's the end screen uh, with uh, our Twiddle handle uh, Squirrely HQ, where you can find lessons each week, Mondays and Tuesdays. Also, we have Wednesday, which is Trends Day. We're discussing different trends in the marketing and digital marketing industry. Again, uh, get the Get Growth um, Instagram account. You can follow that as well if you're interested to find out more about the people behind different tools that we've presented on this channel in the past. And also to become a better marketer, don't forget to um, subscribe to the squarely.co blog and to visit as frequently as possible. Hope you have a great day and a great weekend. See you next week. Bye bye.